In this video, I want to go over a small little program called Frog. Now what Frog is, is it allows you to extract text from images, videos, and even QR codes. And if you found the video on YouTube, I will provide a link below the video that shows you step for installing it and other additional information. But first, let's take a look at what the program is. Here is Frog. Now I can say for something, there's a small problem with taking a screenshot. If you click this button here, it says cannot take a screenshot, and I'll t tell you a little bit more about that in just a for a few moments. Here it allows you to open an image that you may have taken from the screenshot or you can paste an image but before we even use the program let's take a look at some of the options up here. Here we have preferences and when you open the preferences you'll have two tabs at the top. You can uh, set the default language and if that's not your default language you can come over here and remove that click the add button and scroll down or you can search uh, for the language click download and it will install and once it installs you can set that as your default language and remove the ones that you don't want uh, by clicking this button and going back and hitting the trash can. Now below here you can turn on and off these features which is copy to the clipboard. You definitely want to copy the image to the clipboard because it takes what's in the clipboard and puts it in this program and takes the text from the image. You can also open QR links and that I have that turned on by default and I'll show you in just a moment how that works. Now by default they do have telemetry where they collect analytics like how much how often it's used I don't know if they collect what data they collect but you can turn this feature off and that is the preferences there's not a lot of them because it is a simple it is a simple little tool now if you click on the keyboard shortcuts which is control question mark to bring up the shortcuts this just shows you how you can use the shortcut keys with this particular program now let's actually take a look at how to use this now uh, one example I have here is a QR image uh, from uh, what I created from a website and I do have the link on my website there's two ways you can do that you can say open image I go to pictures I can choose on frog and go to my frog example click on the QR code and when I click it remember my settings I had it not only to display the link it will open up the link in your default browser which is my Google Chrome so that's my particular website that it opened up by default. There's another way you can do that and see there's the link that you can select here and click the button here which is to copy the text to the clipboard or you can right click and choose cut and you can paste that link somewhere. Now if there was a lot of text or something within that code you could say copy it to the tech clipboard or you could right click and copy it. Another way that you could do this is by double clicking the image with your image viewer you can say edit copy. Now the image is on the clipboard so I can minimize this and I can say paste the image because it's on the clipboard and it did the same thing. It extracted the link from the QR code and it opened up the link from the site. So that's worked great with QR codes. Now let's take a look at how we would use like for a video. Now here on uh, I went to YouTube and I searched for a file or a video that had text on it. So let me show you how this works. Now remember I said that the, the screenshot tool within the program itself is a little messed up but there's ways that you might can fix that. I didn't want to add an additional screenshot tool to my systems because I have several on here. So I'm going to say take a screenshot. I'm going to select just the text area and I'm going to I'm going to wait for four seconds. I have it set on a four second delay. I should have screened it up. Uh, click. I'm going to save it. Well, I'm going to copy the clipboard to start with to show you the program. Bring up the program. Let me minimize a lot of this stuff here so you're not looking at so much stuff. Now, since I said copy a clipboard, let me say paste the image, and there it is. Now, if you notice here on the the screen, it took a few moments, and then it interpreted. That's what was on the clipboard. So it says working with files and directory, CP command, and then it's got Eureka, and it's got everything that's on that video. So it did a great job at what was copying on the clipboard. Let's say that you, while you're working, uh, you took several screenshots of multiple places through this video and you didn't want to do it every single time so let's say I, I save this uh, and I, there's my screenshot so let it create a thumbnail image now let me show you how I can do this right here by opening up the program I can say to open the image I can go back to my pictures folder I can go to frog I can go to frog example I can choose the screenshot where I took it I hit open and as you can see there it didn't take but just a little bit and it did the same thing as exactly what I did for copying 
to the clipboard as you can see there's the image so it just took the text that was in the video and it actually put it so that I can select it now right click and choose copy or I can click the copy to clipboard button here now that's this little screenshot tool I use my default screenshot tool which was on my uh, computer now if you do go to their github website uh, this originally was written for elementary OS and if you look at the services and choose the screenshot services the Python file for it it does say that it, it captures screenshot using the gnome screenshot now I do have the gnome screenshot on my system as a deb file but not the as a flat pack and I don't know if that has anything to do with it but it's not working so if anyone's very familiar with uh, controlling or programming in Python they can install the system go to where that particular screenshot service Python and edit that and to get it working with the screenshot tool within the program but it, it still works great without it now the ways that you can install it is go to flat hub search for frog you can install it here you can hit the drop down menu copy and paste and put that into your terminal now the current version at the time is 5.0 and let me go back and show you so if I go up here and go to about frog you can see it's five one point five point oh now if you install it from fat flat hub it is the version one point five point oh now if you're using snaps and ubuntu by default uses the snap package it's a little behind it's currently at one point four point two so the last time it was updated was september the twentieth twenty twenty three so you can click install and install this version but it is a little older than the flat pack version now here is the github website so if you like installing it by the source code you can click to get the latest update you can scroll down for instructions for building it on your system now as usual I do have a website created that goes over the different methods for installing it installing it from the software center if you don't have the software center installed on your system you can click that and it will show you how to install it now if you go to the software center which is here and I click the search link I type frog and in a few moments it'll find it as you can see it's already installed there's multiple ways that you can install it there's the flat pack which is by flat hub but that's actually going to the flat pack I've installed it system wide that's the user wide or if I want to install it just for me and if someone else logged on it wouldn't be accessible now, as you can see here it's also for the elementary.io so if you install that one that one still didn't the screenshots tool still didn't work now the snap store as you can see here the snap store has the 1.4.2 so if you do want to get the most current version from the the software center make sure that you're not choosing the snap that you're choosing one of the flat hub versions because that is version 1.5 so if you scroll down you can see it's 1.5.0 now if you look it does have some great reviews and if you look at all the reviews uh, some of the things that I read said uh, that it didn't work with Lubuntu so I don't know if it works for all elementary uh, the screenshot tools but if you look it has some wonderful reviews and like I said the only reviews that I read that from other operating systems is the screenshot tool so if you're looking for a great little program to extract text from your images or QR codes then I recommend you to give frog a try hopefully this video has been helpful to someone and have a great day